Patrick, you know, the market having a brutal reaction here to, to your earnings, clearly caught off guard by some of these headwinds. What happened? Well, I think coming out of the um, uh, earnings <clears throat> call that we had last time, we did portion, you know, our, our the quarter that we were in, our sub quarter, and uh, we were uh, seeing uh, more depression in China towards the end of the quarter, um, as well as some higher freight costs than we had expected. Um, and, but we also said that coming into 2023, that we were going to see some some headwinds early on in the in the year based on uh, actions that we had taken to make sure that we were able to deliver the orders that we had uh, as we came into the year. So talk about the supply chain impact, because that's clearly a big hit to, to margins. Is, is it getting worse when it comes to shipping and, and all the costs building up there? Well, I think for us, uh, we've been going through a two-phase situation here where we came into the quarter, the sub quarter, already guiding la uh, late last year that we were going to be seeing uh, some shortened demand in the quarter because we made some actions to make sure that we were going to be able to deliver on time. We did the same thing, and as we said on our call today, uh, impacting the year of about three points, and actually the first quarter of about 10 points, making sure that whatever we were making was going to make it there on time, not wanting to build inventories in the quarter. Uh, we, we're going to see that ease, though, as we go throughout the year, and things are going to get progressively better in the back half of the year. But we believe that in the first quarter, there's still going to be pressure on supply chains. It might get better on the back half of the year on the supply chain and, and on that cost front. But, Patrick, what about demand? Because now there are some serious concerns in the U.S. We've seen what the market's been doing about a slowdown. What are you seeing from the U.S. consumer? Any evidence of it? Well, currently, what we're not seeing, uh, as I said, you know, our, we have been proactively canceling orders. We have the demand for our brand, and, and we continue to see demand for the brand. So there's a little bit of frustration, I must say, in our teams uh, that we weren't able to meet the demand that's there as we were coming off such a great 21 and had made so much great progress around our strategy and our business transformation that we've been going through over the last couple of years. Uh, but we are, of course, seeing uh, constrained demand definitely in China. Uh, and also in certain parts of Eastern Europe uh, due to what's going on there in Ukraine. You're starting to see the European slowdown, you mean, in terms of consumer spending? Well, in that, in that area where, you know, that is close to the war zone, for sure there is, there is a, a lot of disruption going on. Uh, and we had, uh, you know, we saw some uh, adjustment, I would say, in, in the March uh, month, uh, also early in the April month from uh, what's going on in um, North America right now as we are waning ourselves off the stimulus last year. So finally, Patrick, you know, we're just looking at the stock price here, down 24 percent, brings it to levels that we haven't seen since back in September 2020. There, there was a lot of faith in this turnaround plan, and I know this was supposed to be a big quarter for you where you exited the restructuring, restructuring and looking ahead to next year. What, what do you tell investors now with this new outlook and some of the numbers coming down? Yeah, for us, uh, we were trying to make the point today that our fundamentals are st still strong. You know, the demand is there for the brand. We believe our strategy is working. Uh, we believe that what we're trying to do is control the controllables to make sure we're not getting ourselves into um, any sort of an inventory position, managing our inventory as well. You know, we came into the quarter, um, as we said, a little lean with minus 3 percent. So this is really about continuing to be disciplined about how we manage the brand. Uh, and, and we are seeing demand for the brand. So for us, it truly is a moment in time. You know, 2023 is going to be a year um, that, that we move through. And then towards the end of the year, we continue to get better, both in terms of inventories as well as, as sales accelerating. Um, and we were trying to make that clear today. Um, uh, but yeah. there was disappointment there because we missed our guidance.